We are all gathered here today at the invitation of the Black North because we believe in the African proverb. If you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. And we at the Black North want to go as far as our eyes can see where the sky and the stars meet the land and the sea where the sunset rests on the water so majestically. Now take this energy of mine and inject it straight to your melanin skin. This armor we bring from the cores of our soul from where we valiantly sing. And if you could, please raise a glass as I propose a ting, ting, ting. Toast to every man, woman, and child that had to Dial down their voice, quieter than most, to cage our vibrant personalities and repel the optics of a person who constantly boasts. But no longer will you mute me, confident myself, you cannot rebuke me, because every day when I wake up, I make sure that I choose me, and if that makes me choosy, well then excuse me, because I know that I don't stand alone in this Black North home. And my experiences are not dissimilar. Whether your name is Wes or Dahabo, Robert Smith or Van Jones, we all know the feeling of adversity right down to our bones. So let me reinforce, we are here together because we cannot do this alone. Which is why I want to hear the cries of our allies and acknowledge the base of our brothers, the faith of our fathers, the strength in our sisters, the resilience of our mothers. Because where would I be, a black professional lawyer, legal counsel, without the counsel of my counsel? You see, when I was called to the bar and donned my legal shroud, I felt proud to finally walk the path of my mentor, Justice Donald McCloud. But my highlight to date is speaking today to such an esteemed crowd, with my voice so loud, because I understand the power of Unity.